Hey everybody, we have Victor, Derek, and Ernest here for another nerdy update. We're going to be talking about upcoming Marvel projects coming out within the next few months within this year. Alright, so there's a lot of stuff on the docket for Marvel. Uh, lots, especially a lot coming out from the uh, San Diego Comic Con. Uh, coming up on also, that's coming up relatively immediately on September 1st are the Inhumans. Um, I personally know only a little bit about them. Victor can probably do a little bit, uh, a quick, can you give them a quick summary out there? So I believe most people that have seen Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. have kind of gotten a taste of what Inhumans are. But we're going to be talking about mainly the royal family of Inhumans, which basically features uh, Black Bolt, you have Medusa, uh, Karnak, Trigon, uh, Maximus, and the lovable Lockjaw, and it's going to be talking about how their ventures from where Inhumans mainly are from, which is the moon, to what happens when they get overthrown by someone in the family, and it goes from there. Okay, and the next thing that will be coming up, uh, estimated in the late 2017, um, it's going to be Marvel Runaways. So with Runaways, um, they're actually releasing this on Hulu, I believe, which is um, a part of... Well, I know it's a streaming site, that's all I know. I yeah, don't know so much about Hulu. And we, we have very little access to it. We, yeah, we don't know how it's going to be in Canada, but it's going to be released in Hulu. Uh, and basically Runaways is about a bunch of kids that find out that their parents are actually a group of supervillains that meet up every week and just do bad things. So, not wanting to follow in their parents' footsteps, they run away from their parents and go on an adventure. Definitely, the parents are after them to bring them home and see what's going on, but it leads to a little bit of a, I guess, kerfuffle and ruckus here and there. Okay, so this sounds hilariously similar if not the same as that Disney movie about the kids are all there's a bunch of kids of all the I guess the villains in the Disney movies so like Ursula from Little Mermaid like her daughter and I forgot what's it called it's the movie the second movie just came out I only know because my co-worker wouldn't shut up about it so if you can remind me in the comments just put it down low and you guys can like draw parallels to the Runaways and this uh, movie here. So moving on, we have the big blockbuster that's hopefully um, going to meet everyone's expectation. That's Thor Ragnarok. We have some videos coming up for this, so please uh, stay tuned for those. But like, I'm pretty amped up about this movie. I'm, I don't think we need to say too much. Uh, it's been kind of thrown into the uh, public eye uh, quite a bit. So uh, wait for our content if you want to know a bit more. But... I'm just totally psyched about this movie right now. We have done a, a trailer breakdown of Thor Ragnarok, so if you want to kind of find out a little bit more about what's going on, please check that out. Sounds good. Uh, and next up, another related to uh, another show related to Netflix, and this one I'm super hyped because when he was introduced in Daredevil 2, man, oh man, was this guy so good. The Punisher, estimated to be late 2017, this guy is something to be, like, admired because... Oh, sorry, who's the... Uh, John Bernthal. Yeah, John Bernthal is an amazing Punisher. Like, I just... They found the right guy. He looks completely crazy. And it's just the way... He's so jacked up. And the way he fought in that scene in the in the prison. Holy hell, that thing was, like, awesome. So I'm pretty jacked up about this one, too. We heard rumors that it might be a, a little bit of an origin story. So kind of going back to... What led him to be the Punisher? Like, we know in the comics that it was the murder of his family uh, in broad daylight by mafias that led him to become the Punisher. We're going to see maybe if they're going to follow the same uh, formula, you can say. Like, some of his origin story was in uh, Daredevil 2, the TV series. Sorry, the, TV, the Netflix series. But no, I, like, they're going to do a deeper dive. Um, I'm interested to see where they're going to take Because he comes off as way more realistic like the ptsd totally like you can he just plays that out so well as an actor and you see that he's an existing like he was a soldier it's in his the way he speaks the way he carries himself so like 
to me, he's like kind of even like a little bit more like uh, like crazy and a little bit on on edge. So I'm really interested to see how they're gonna do his um, kind of origin here. Well, we know for sure that there's gonna be a lot of butt kicking in this series, and I I can say for all of us, we're all super excited for it to come out. I'm just hoping they don't pull an iron fist here and totally disappoint us. But I, I I'm I'm expecting good things. I'm hoping it's good things. It's okay. No kung fu. Fair enough, fair enough. There's no kung fu. Uh, that brings us to the end of kind of what the projects are co- that are coming out. Re- in recent news, I just want to bring this up, and it is related to some projects. Uh, I heard over the news that Disney has pulled, is pulling all their content. Sorry, that might not be accurate. Their movies for sure uh, out, out from Netflix by the end of 2019. If I remember that correctly, please correct me if I'm wrong. Um, and they've signed a deal with the streaming site under ESPN. I don't know the name of that one. I just heard this. So uh, if anyone wants to provide more details, please, uh, you can, uh, in the comments below. But what does this mean uh, for like me like, as a subscriber to Netflix? Am I suddenly going to lose all the Disney shows, which I would believe includes Marvel stuff? Well, it seems like you might lose any kind of Disney-related movies and TV series. But one thing about like the Marvel Netflix series is a conjunction project with Netflix. So I don't think they have the ability to pull those away. So like uh, Daredevil, Luke Cage, Jessica Jones, Iron Fist, even The Punisher, and definitely Defenders. I don't think they have the ability to remove them. Uh, maybe they have some kind of agreement worked out where they'll maybe they'll work on both or maybe just on Netflix because it is using the Netflix name when to create these content right so um yeah it's kind of sucks that that's what they're going with but there will still be some Marvel content on Netflix from what I can see yeah so that's one thing I was worried about like do I have would I probably have to subscribe to like the Disney's new streaming platform and then uh, let's say Amazon one day gets some sort of st- stakeholdership in Marvel like I like ideally I don't want to pay for three streaming platforms but like if it is what it is then I guess no choice um, yeah so that kind of brings us to the end of this update if you have any questions or concerns or you know something more about this Disney um withdrawal from netflix please comment in the comments below uh give us your inside scoop uh if you have any other projects that uh, marvel projects that you're super hyped about or even any other kind of comic related project you're super hyped about let us know uh, in the comments below so remember to subscribe and like and look out for any future content other than that thank you and have a good day until next time